Hi, welcome to Divine Cuisine. Here we are outside in the garden picking apples. So, it's harvest time. That means plenty of goodness. Let's go inside and see what we can cook up with these apples. Okay, so we've picked our apples and today on Divine Cuisine, we're gonna make an apple cake. It's absolutely delicious and you know you're gonna love it. But, Let's just think about this. You know, they tell us an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But you know there's a better way. A scripture a day keeps disease away. You know, in Isaiah 53, it says that by his stripes we were healed. And then 1 Peter 2, 24 says we were healed. He confirms what Isaiah says. We have a, a, a terrible thing that happens today where the there's a lie out there that's saying that Jesus doesn't heal anymore. Well, you think about how great he suffered for your healing. He didn't do that so that it would pass away. He did that so that by faith you can extrapolate that and have healing. An apple a day may keep the doctor away, but a scripture a day will keep disease away. All right, let's go on and make our cake and we'll see what is in store for you. Enjoy. So we begin our apple cake by peeling and dicing some apples. If you have a apple turner, you want to use that. Save the rind. We're going to use that for a garnish. And you want about three and a half cups, three cups of apple. Whether you're doing the apple or the rind, toss it in a little lime, a lemon juice, and that'll keep it fresh for you. This, the rind will be your garnish. The peeling will be your garnish. If you have a turner, you want them thin. And we toss our apples as well in a little bit of lemon juice. And we'll go on to mix the cake. To mix our cake, we begin with some oil and sugar. Put that in our mixer. Start it slow till it comes to nice creamy consistency. Once we've reached the creamy consistency, we're going to add the equivalent of six ounces of eggs. That's three large eggs or six small eggs. And again, you're going to whip that up till it's nice and creamy. Once your eggs are nice and creamy, we take the flour. Here we have our seasonings, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. We're going to put that into with our flour and just give it a quick stir. This is one cake you don't have to sift the flour and sugar or the flour and seasoning, salt and and baking powders together. Just give them a quick stir and you're good to go. And we'll add that to the flour or to the eggs along with the apples one third at a time.
Now we'll add some vanilla. And today we'll put in raisins, but you can put in raisins, any other kind of dried fruit, dried cranberries, maybe you like some nuts in there, cashews or pecans, whatever you like. And that's it. Our cake is ready to be placed into a prepared pan and we're going to bake that for 45 minutes to an hour, maybe a little longer, until a tooth inserted toothpick comes out nice and clean. All right, for our sauce that we're going to make for our cake, I'm going to start with one cup of brown sugar, some heavy cream. Remember, all these recipes are on chefk.com, so you want to go there and get them. We have butter. And along with the butter, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we'll bring that to a boil, and when the cake is done, we're going to poke a whole bunch of holes in it and pour this over the very hot cake. Make sure you do this while the cake is hot. All right, once your cake comes out of the oven, while it's hot, poke it full of holes. That's right, while it's right away, we're going to poke it right full of holes. Why? because we're going to take our hot sauce we're going to pour the hot sauce over the cake slowly let it absorb right into that cake all down those little holes and this will keep your cake moist for a long time Soaks right in because of the heat of the cake. And then just let it cool to room temperature before you serve it. Now for our garnish, remember our little apple peelings? Now we're going to toss those in to some cornstarch. Just like that. And then we flash fry them. All right, so we're gonna flash fry our little apple peelings. These will just take seconds, not long at all. Immediately, once they're done, Remove them from your fryer and toss them in some cinnamon sugar. Just give them a little toss and we're ready. We're going to use that for a garnish. And here's your finished apple cake. There's your apple peels and the super moist apple cake. Absolutely delicious. You're going to enjoy it. Once you put that sauce in it, it will keep nice and moist for a long time, a good week. Enjoy. Okay, so there's our cake. Our next adventure with the apple will be an apple cider short rib. You're going to love that one. See you soon.